talking about a philosophy that's contrary to Kant, uh, to Rand's. You mentioned Kant before. Kant consi uh, Rand considered Kant's philosophy evil, yes. but not a lot of people understand why, and that might be something that interests the Ayn Rand enthusiasts listening. Sure, I mean, I think that the two primary ways she thinks his philosophy is wrong, and then I'll get to why, why she thought it was evil, and why he, she thought he was evil, not just the ideas. Um, one is that Kant rejects the idea of the pursuit of happiness. He rejects the idea that the purpose of morality is the pursuit of happiness. On the contrary, he is very suspicious of happiness because happiness is probably a sign of self-interest and he rejects self-interest as, as, as in morality completely. Your, your purpose, again, morally, is to be selfless or to be guided by certain categorical imperatives that somehow are in your mind, and in that sense, he's a bit of a mystic. They're somehow encoded in your mind and you know what they are. I often wonder what, you know, rapists and murderers, why they didn't get the category of imperatives, right? <laughs> but they, yeah. you know, but you, you, you're supposed to find them and you're supposed to execute out there. So, but, but they're all focused again on other people. They're all focused on serving others, yeah. not. And again, if you think of yourself in that context, then it doesn't count as morality, so it has to be selfless. So he rejects the great, one of the great achievements of the Enlightenment, which is the pursuit of, of happiness. But more fundamentally what he rejects is the idea that reason, reason actually gives us information about reality as it is. Yeah. And he says the fact that we have senses and the fact that we have a mind actually creates, uh, creates a barrier between, uh, between what we have as what we think reality is and what real reality is. Mm -hmm. Real reality is unknowable mm. because you have to use senses to discover it. And since that sense is distorted, then it's actually unknowable to the human mind. Now that sets us back, you know, 100, 150 years philosophically, because again, the achievement of the enlightenment, the achievement of the scientific revolution is to say, no, our senses give us valid information about the world. No, our reason makes it possible for us to understand the world, yeah. to understand the physical world. This is how we can build these inventions. This is how we can do the equations that actually work in explaining the movement of objects. Uh, you know, this is how we can do biology and chemistry and all these things that are just coming out in the, in the 18th and 19th century. And Kant says, well, not really. That, that, that's all we've convinced ourselves in a sense, that that's what's real reality out there. But, but it's not. It's just inside our head. And that ultimately leads to, you know, uh, uh, disastrous philosophical consequences from Hegel to Schopenhauer to, to, to Marx to, uh, to Nietzsche and ultimately to, to postmodernism today. Every aspect of that is ultimately can be can be shown has its core in Kant's philosophy. And the reason she thought he was evil is she believed he knew what he was doing. Mm. And that she believed, and in the critique of pure reason in the introduction, he says something like, I'm writing this book in order to save faith from reason. Right, okay. That and so she believed that he knew what he was doing, that he was purposefully undermining and undercutting the great achievements of the Enlightenment. He was undercutting reason and he was undercutting individual happiness. And to do that, and to be conscious of that, to basically drive humanity towards a philosophy that ultimately belongs in the Middle Ages and the Dark Ages, a philosophy that ultimately has to rely on faith in one way or the other, and on altruism, on, on sacrifice to others, which ultimately leads to collectivism, you know, she thought that was the the ultimate evil. And if you if you, there's a book by Leonard Peikoff that I highly recommend uh, called The Ominous Parallels, where he actually draws out the consequence of Kantian philosophy through the ages and shows its link both to communism and fascism, and how these are basically the unavoidable consequences of Kantian philosophy. And and if that's the case, if that's true, then I can't think of ideologies that have killed more people than uh, communism and fascism. And how does objectivism differ from the philosophies that many of us have been exposed to in our youths? Uh, philosophies based upon religions, theologians, dogmatists. The f very first difference. Uh, objectivism tells you that it is not right, it is not proper to men to take anything on faith. Religion is a matter of faith. You accept a religion emotionally or because you were born to it. You have not chosen it rationally. What objectivism will tell you is that 
reason. Man's reason is his basic means of survival. That is the most important faculty which he has, and he has to guide his life and make his choices by means of his rational faculty. Mm -hmm. He has to make his own choices, but he has to know how to make them. It is immoral for him to act on his emotions, to be guided by the whim of the moment. That objectivism holds as very wrong, very immoral. And morality, in fact, consists of following your reason to the best of your ability. So that rationality is the basic virtue from which all the others proceed. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourownbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...